episode 133. One more night. Found some really unique cones here. Look at that. Oh yeah. On the count of three. Episode Boom, all right, episode 133, day 169. Look at that. Look at that, what we have here this morning. Let's walk over here. Look at that. Back this direction, the moon is still out. Episode 133, day 169. Let's see what today has in store for Rental and Unicorn. Appreciating another day. Boom. So, as we're making our way up this hill, you see Munchie hanging on in the back, doing good. Unicorn's doing well. By the title, one more night. We have one more night here, people. So, one full day of hiking, one more night around Crater Lake, and then we're exiting Crater Lake and calling it a hike. I think uh, the decision was made quite a while back, back actually, to uh, one day come up, clean up the burn miles in uh, NorCal, and then finish up at Crater and do that one section. That was decided a while back. And uh, as you can see here, we're climbing up this hill around the log, but that was decided a while back. And uh, I'm going to cut the clip so the clip is a tad shorter here as I go around. This is an eventful one. But uh, as we make our way around this log, I just don't want to trip. It's been a great ride. I don't really want to make this about that episode today, but just to inform everyone the last episode will be the next episode after this. And it's gonna take me a little bit to edit. So the editing will be, I don't know, maybe about a week. I gotta get back and compile stuff. But, uh, so that'll delay a little bit. But other than that, we are gonna see what the rest of the day as in store for rental and unicorn here as we make our way towards Crater Lake.
So back to the hike. I remember reading the last episode, Kelly Johnson understood this area was talking about. Now you're about to enter Crater Lake area and the long water carries. Something forgot we uh, something I forgot to bring up other days. This is a 20 how unicorn what? We're in the middle of a 22 mile water carry. There was a, a trickle that you could go down to a couple of switchbacks, but we decided to carry from the water cache to the next flowing stream. So it's like a 22 mile, little mile little carry. 22 mile water carry. It's a 22 mile carry. It's a little windy, so I'm shouting. So yeah, Kelly Johnson knows this trail very well. She was watching the last video when we were in town. And she's like, you're about to enter the Crater Lake area with a long water carry. So a treat to have someone like that comment, you know, helps the viewers, you know, helps us be able to go back and reference it one day. And uh, really appreciate the time that you put into it. Kelly, for sure, everyone. But this comment was for Kelly. So let's see what the rest of the trail has in store for us today. Trying to soak in every moment. All right, so I made a mistake about the couple that we made yesterday, met yesterday. I said that we met them in Snoqualmie, but that's when we spoke to them a lot. We actually met them in Stahican. And they also started in Mexico and then flipped and kind of did that Novo Sobo thing. And it's still kind of amazing how we started there went through our whole, whole ordeal going to the border coming back and seeing Thor and the couple again you know yeah it's their original bubble sobo bubble yeah it's kind of like our sobo bubble we just caught out to them and you know we've been pulling 20s like at least every day here right yeah, since ever since Washington it seems like it's good anyway we have one more night out here it's kind of surreal, kind of trying to pull everything in and appreciate every day, appreciate every second now before we wrap this up and call it a year. And uh, let's see uh, if we can catch a little bit more footage here. It's still early, but thanks for watching. And uh, again, to remind everybody that last episode, which will be the episode after this one, We'll take a little time to edit putting together a collage. Catch you on the other side. Oh, okay, so we just collect the water bath there for how many miles? It looks like it's gonna be uh, the rest of the day and tomorrow, so 28 miles total, I think. Wow, 28 mile water carry. That's cool. <laughs> At least it's not the desert. Remember those good old days of water carries? This is cool weather, so should be easier on that. Happiest known time. Catch you on the other side.
No. The thing about finishing at Crater and doing this flip is, you know, the day before, if everything goes well today, tomorrow will be our last day on trail. And you get some time to reflect, you know. Uh, no day hikers are out. Snow on the ground. The bubbles are gone. And you kind of get a deeper sense of why you were out here. We were out here a long time. Episode 133, I think that was three non-trail days. It's 130 days on trail. I think that's the math. That's when the feet hit the pavement or hit the dirt, that is. You know, whether a Nero or a high ho if it hits dirt, it's an episode. So I'd have to go back and look about 130 and uh, get some time to reflect. You know, you just listen to the birds. It's been a really special ride. Let's take in one more full day and then tomorrow, catch you on the other side. What do you think, unicorn? No smoke, right? No, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. Very nice cloud right there, too. We're appreciating the day. Very fortunate. No smoke. No complaints. Happiest known time.
Boom. Episode 133. This is where we reside. Seems to be for the last night before our departure tomorrow. And as you saw the sign over there, it is on Crater Lake, right? The rim? Yep, going the alternate route. Alternate route? Mm -hmm. So, as everyone knows, it's one more night. That is the name of the episode because it's one more night before we head out. We are going to finish our through hike out here on the PCT 2021. As you all know, we're going to have to clean up some burn miles whenever that thing opens, if it ever opens. And then we will circle back up. That is the plan. And uh, that decision was kind of made a little further back before um, right around Mary's decision when, when he decided to go back up to Washington. But uh, that has been the plan. That is going to be the executed plan. And uh, as a friendly reminder, before we talk about mileage and stuff, the last episode, which is going to be uh, when we depart Crater Lake, it's going to be delayed a little bit. I think I'm going to be home by then. We need to compile some pics because Unicorn spent some time taking pics on the return of uh, Sobo. We're going to do a little bit of uh, collage here at the end of the last video. But uh, besides that, how many miles did the Unicorn? Uh, just about 23 miles. All right, 23. So we've been just kind of doing that on regular here through Oregon. It's been beautiful. It's been awesome. This whole experience has been awesome. And uh, we're looking to get out tomorrow and call it a hike. But we will be keeping in touch. We will be finishing that last video. And I'll give you more of a recap of what's in store in the future. But today, as you can see, that sun shining through right there at that given moment through that cloud. Maybe that's a sign. I think that's a sign that it's one more night. We did a lot of mileage pretty quickly. We're excited. We're excited to get back and see uh, see the fam, see the dogs. But I tell you what, one more night, tomorrow is it. And we really appreciate it another day. And we will we'll, we'll kind of sum it up and, and tell everyone the things that we're doing in the future in that last episode. But leave a comment. Let's talk. But uh, it's been real. We'll get into details a little bit later, maybe have a Q&A session. But in terms of the episode, one more night, that sun came right through, right at the right time. Happiest known time. Happiest known time. We will catch everyone on the other side. Thank you very much.